And what's next for you then? What is next for Sauce? So, just living life. <laughs> Literally, just living life. What's next for me? I don't really, the thing is with me, I don't really plan things like that. And that probably sounds bad because it's like, in the industry, okay, when are you going to release your next song? On the 16th at 4pm. No, I release on my own accord because I have the power. I am Sauce. I own Sauce as a brand. Um, and yeah, I potentially just, I when I feel it's right and when I feel like, yeah, I'm ready, I'll release. Um, but yeah, what's next? Sauce is just out here active. On the 30th, I'm supposed to be performing as well. Um, so I had an artist, Frizz Price, a hard, hard, hard bar Yeah, MC, rapper, artist, she's hard. Um, but yeah, she's headlining a show and she basically said she wants me to perform. So yeah, on the 30th. Sick, sick, yeah. sick, 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 sick. Um, and you've talked quite a bit on, I guess, collaborations and, you know, you've been in a band and yeah. people you've worked with, but is there someone, if there was a dream collab, who would that be? My dream collab would definitely be Future. I feel like me and Future will definitely lay down some spiritual, deep realm stuff, that psychedelic kind of state that might, yeah, I, I feel like me and Future would do that stuff. But, um, yeah, that's... Yeah, future. 100% future. Yeah. And also, I am the future. <laughs> <laughs> I know if you see something like this, girl motherfucking loves her man. Oh, <laughs> my. I lost my motherfucking man, but you know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Not nice. Like, oh, I was born. I hear it. I hear it. <laughs> no, don't kill me. Ah, I'm so. Um, look at I guess like your socials and that. Do you handle all that yourself or have you got a team that handles that? I handle all my socials. Now you I find that having like the oh my gosh. DMs and all of that. <laughs> I find that shit chaotic. No, I, I find it chaotic. I'm not going to lie. I think... And also it's hard because I don't just do music. I do videography, I also podcast, so I like to interview people, especially when I know that they're hard and they're, you know, putting their all in. I feel like it's important to have a platform that pushes artists. And I feel like I've spoken to a lot of artists that have all in their own ways experienced the industry with some foolish vibes. But as I said, who holds the power? You as the artist, me as the artist, we hold the power. If it wasn't for us, none of these shows would even have any events going. None of these record labels will even have income because you as an artist are fueling that. Um, so yeah, I think, yeah, just being a creator in general is, is, is challenging, but mm -hmm. I managed to do it. I managed to do it. And I don't want anybody else in, in charge of my socials. Like, I think it's just the thought of somebody else, even if it is a team, like having my passwords and trying to just run my stuff. I just like to be in charge. <laughs> <laughs> all of that to the state actually yeah I like to be in charge of my own stuff because then I know where things are going I know where the income's going the streams I can see everything in one um, and I think that's very important as an artist I think if you allow people to control you whether that's financial whether that's creatively or whatever obviously you need direction but not to be controlled there's a big difference so yeah that's that's me okay 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 sticking on the social media element though mm. How much, or even if at all, do you think social media has impacted the music scene? Do you know what? I think social media has definitely had a part to play in impacting the music scene. I say that to say, um, so I was having a conversation about with my brother about this and about like new age artists, new age rappers, new age singers and stuff. And I think things like TikTok, I think, Koyla Ray was talking about, oh, like people was calling me a TikTok artist, but I just utilised the platform. I think she's talented, don't get it twisted. On the flip side of that, there was, I think there was a video, um, the, is it the Cypher, the double XL Cypher um, in America, and loads of people were roasting Koyla Ray saying, oh my gosh, I, are you being for real? She's hard in terms of the studio and stuff, but then when she actually does live performances, it's crazy. But I think, yeah, the internet can shape you. The internet can definitely... Um, add to you blowing up, it can fuel and act as a catalyst for you to actually blow. But then I feel like it's always about staying true to yourself and knowing what you bring other than like me just being in a studio compared to now, live in action. If somebody said, okay, sing, my pain, my pain, a little bit of anger, something else. But yeah, you have to be, I think, yeah, you just have to know who you are, man. You just have to know who you are. But I think it's definitely, definitely impacted uh, new age artists, but in a good way and in a negative way. I think there's always pros and cons, mm -hmm. but yeah. 
Definitely, definitely. That's a good shout as well, I think. Mm. Also, just touching on what you said about like, the live performance, I think part of that, if you block that quick, do you get to hone those little skills that you've had to, like if you've mm -hmm. had to do the grind and go into the open mics, go into this, go into that, you have to get good at performing. Whereas mm -hmm. if you're just able to go to the studio and put a camera in front of you and do a couple of takes, yep. and then that, that gets you to the same platform, mm. are you ready? Are you prepped? And quick thing, yeah, I wanted to talk about that because even for me, I've performed. I'm not gonna lie, I'll be so real with you. I don't like people. I don't. Like, I know it sounds mad, but I'm very self reflective. I like to be on my, on my ones. I'm very, I'm an extrovert, but I just, yeah, I like to be by myself. But I think when you're performing and stuff, remember, people are paying to see you. People are, whether the tickets are free or not, and you're doing like, um, like you're on the end and you're just doing shows in your area you need to understand it's the mindset of people are actually they're out here to see you they've traveled a whole journey whether they came for you or not you're there you need to show out for them and I feel like yeah you have to have the same energy and I think that's why for me I'm very big on taking my time and doing my stuff on my accord not all being rushed because I Spice for example I've seen a few of her um um what do you call it, videos, even on TikTok and stuff, and people are roasting her like, oh, look, Drake flew her out, she got a bit of clout or whatever they want to call it, or she got, you know, recognised or recognition, and then your social media presence, it's not there. So it's like, where do you draw that line? But like you said, the skills, the time that you have to actually hone in, how do you draw a crowd in? How do you, do you get it? Like, talk to your audience, and how do you let them engage? Because it's not just about singing to a crowd. How do you get them to engage and feel you as an artist and your music? So yeah, mm -hmm. that's why. Mm -hmm. So, but even with that in mind, though, mm -hmm. social media in mind especially, yeah. do you think it's harder or easier to make it now compared to back then? I think now mm -hmm. it's harder. I'm gonna say the reason why I think it's more harder than easier to make it is because anybody can make music. Do you understand? Now, for me personally, and whether or not people, everything's subjective at the end of the day, it's all about opinions. And I've got my own opinion, I'm entitled to my opinion, but my opinion holds a lot of value. There are a lot of people out here creating music, yeah? And again, if this is what makes you happy, absolutely do it. But it's safe to say that the music they're creating is not of any value, do you understand? So how do I now, because you've added, as an artist, let's say, not in a rude way, but let's say you're shit, or you're not that good, right? How do I now, as a record not label, rude way, you know. not in a rude way, but I'm just I'm trying, yeah, trying yeah, to be yeah, real. Yeah. How do I, as a record label, come in? I'm a record label, not an artist. I come in and I have to sift through all of these thousands and thousands of artists that I believe could be the next break or the next potential. You've now just added shit to that list and you've added to that list and now I have to go through more, more people. Do you get what I mean? So I feel like, yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely, yeah, affected. What was your question? <laughs> If it's harder or easier that's to how, it That's now, how shit. Yeah, no, no, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 it's definitely, it no, it's definitely more challenging because if you're actually harder as an artist, it's going to take a record label longer to see you because there's so mm -hmm. much out there. Mm -hmm. But then at the same time, things like TikTok, it's easy. TikTok, there's loads of nobodies that get engagement. Do you understand? So utilise it to your potential. If that's what you want to do, do it. Do you get it for business, whether it's music, for business, whatever, use it to your potential. But I think it's a lot harder because there are actually cold people out here that I don't think get the leverage. They don't get the recognition, um, potentially because of the rubbish that has to be filtered through. Mm -hmm. And I think, yeah, back then, things like ciphers, like a cipher. Yeah. So yeah, back then, I feel like even in regards to ciphers, Back then, in, back in the day, you had to rock up. Huh? Talk to this one. Okay. I personally think that like, back then, when it comes to ciphers, yeah, you had to actually rock up and do a freestyle. You couldn't check, you couldn't like pre record or pre write your stuff and then come to a cipher. Personally, for me, a cipher is you rock up and you do a freestyle. That's what a cipher is. Do you understand? You don't pre-record it on the beat that you're going to play on loop and then you sound so clear. That's not what a cipher is. Nowadays it is, but that's not what an actual cipher is. A cipher is you rock up real time, real life, real mics, whether you have a beat or not, and you start spilling from your mind. Even if it sounds shit or not, you're still freestyling. I think, yeah, that's what I have to say. 
I'm so passionate about this stuff. I'm sorry. Sis, I'm be passionate. passionate. I we am, need, okay? We need that passion. We need that passion. P A S S I O N. And we need good spelling because I, I would not have done that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I had to deep it. I was like, did I? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Before I get rest um, in the comments. All right, we're going to do some quick fire questions. Oh, and then, okay. you know, just a little bit more after that. So, boom. Yes, yes, yes. So, quick five questions. Don't even think about the answers. Just, just, just say it. Whatever comes into your mind first. You know what I mean? Okay, okay. So, boom. First one. Breast or bum? Breast. Tracksuit or jeans? Oh, tracksuit. Digger D or Central C? Central. Champagne or cognac? Champagne. You said, why did you say that's all sad? You said champagne like you was upset. Do you know what? It makes me very, um... You get me? Is <laughs> it? Maya Jama. Mm. Football? Mm. Wait, sorry, say that again. No, you said, you said oh no, Maya Jama, Maya Jama. Oh, Football either. or boxing? Boxing. Gigs or young spray? Gigs. Why did you say boxing with better bit of No, because I do boxing. I'll swear that. Yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. Swear. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, <laughs> London or Brom? London. <laughs> oh, drink, drink or a smoker? Drake. Oh, did you, who did you say? I said no, drink or smoke. But you said drink like, like you're a drinker. Oh, drinker. I thought you said Drake. I no. said Drake. Oh, you said Sorry, Drake. drink or smoke? Drink. Yeah, yeah drink. I would drink, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. okay. Um, Gucci or Gavinci? Neither. Oh, okay. So, no. I don't believe in brands. Okay. I feel like... Just chill. Like, watch me when I blow. I'll be wearing Gavinci. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't, 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 no, don't, don't, Gucci, don't, Gucci. Don't mess up the yeah, exactly. Don't mess up the back now. Just think, who do you want to be yeah. sponsored by? You know? <laughs> <laughs> I don't put that in. That's it. I don't care, man. Like I said, the power is within me. I control things. So yeah, Gucci. Say nothing, Gucci. I'm just gonna say that because the masses would say that. Go on, Gucci. Have it. Everyone or Tion Wayne. Oh, Tion. Party. Now, Jiggy, let's go. Okay. Okay. No, I'm you're that pillow. <laughs> no, that chill, man. I've got a man, I can't be doing that. <laughs> no, chill, man. Chill, chill, chill. I like both of them, though. I can't say both, can I? I like chill, man. You said no, you said, you said I like the greenery. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do. I like the greenery. Like, it reminds me, it's a very positive colour, green. So, she, yeah, green. Maybe that's not good to say on camera. I, I mean, I, I, if anyone's... I could literally just say the next question. Well, if you try to send something on my website. All right, back to the boxing, yeah? Yeah. All right, yeah, cool, yeah. cool, cool. <laughs> Labour or conservative? Ooh, conservatives. Swear down. Yeah. You know, don't get me into that argument, but I do, I hear their side. I do. Swear down. I do. I think Labour, you're for the people, you're left wing, I get it. But then also, okay. why should rich people... No, think about it though. I, I genuinely always have these arguments with people in debates. Why should rich people, even when I, not even rich, I'm going to say wealthy, a certain amount of wealth, why should they look after the poor? Honestly, that doesn't align with my personal morals and values. But think, if you were in their position, think about how would that be fair to you? And that's basically cutting money from you, your family's mouth. But maybe I shouldn't say this. Like, hey, 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 that's for another hey. day. I'm saying if you're wealthy, you've probably got generational wealth and... I have neither, but I still stand. <laughs> I say it's, that's what I'm saying, man. So I'm saying you're just saying you're saying to your boss, why should you pay me more? Why should you pay me more? No, but it's true. Why? Okay. Why can't I elevate my skills as a person and then jump up the ladder? Or oh, yeah. we can live in a fair society. Anyways, we move on. What is fair to you? Some lamb to or pork? Lamb. Chunks or young Philly? Chunks. It's funny as fuck. Netflix or Amazon? Netflix. <laughs> Bit of him and your answers. Say, say, say. Uh, D block. No, no, don't be sorry. <laughs> Be you. Yeah. <laughs> D block or LSG? D block. 
I'm gonna make you feel safe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that oh. you thought! Oh. I'm gonna make you feel safe. <laughs> Deep block shouting. Um, <laughs> it might be them. Did you say? Uh, Mercedes or BMW. Oh, BMW. Germans every day. <laughs> Sorry. I love, uh, I love German things. Merc, is a Merc German as well? Um, I'm gonna sound like an idiot now. <laughs> no, but I, I do like I do like BMWs. Okay, that's that's all right. Mercs are nice, but I like the way BMW drive. Mm. Oof, mm. pain. Mm. One series in the X5 in the best ride. Okay. Aye, aye. Stormzy or Chip? Stormzy. Joshua Fury. Anthony Joshua. Yeah. Anthony Joshua. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony Joshua. Yes, AJ! He said it like that, was there a question? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was, it was, but like, AJ, oh, Anthony Joshua, yes. Yeah, yeah, His Joshua mindset though. is on point. Mm. And I love the fact set. that he's just mm. elegant, you know? And he's elegant. He's flamboyant, he's let me flamboyant. say. Oh, mm. I just love. Mm. Ah. Mm. Yes, AJ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, all, AJ. it's all about the flamboyance. Definitely. Yeah, no, the way he moves, like, I get with the whole boxing stuff, you have to be a bit cocky, you have to show your ego, but mm. I think he's just so reserved. He knows who he is. Mm -hmm. He knows who he is. That's the level I'm trying to get me at. I know who yes. I am when I step into rooms. Yes. Even though people move mad. But None yes. of this has got anything to do with his physique. No. Okay, I love it. Yes. Um. <laughs> No, I'm joking. I'm joking. No, 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 it's got nothing to do with the physique. We take a mind of that and we no. look at the actual internal it's qualities. It's about the man for who right. they are. It's not about the look. It's, it's about, about the, they... No, the way he carries himself, I really do like that. You know, they're both as equally as, you know, purple. <laughs> <laughs> real rap or drill? Real rap, I can't cap. Real rap. For real, for real. Yeah. Okay, and last one, Harrods or Selfridges? I'm going to go with Har Harrods. Harrods, yeah? Yeah. Ah, say nothing. Just because, why do I need a yellow bag? Why, why <laughs> to show people, wow. to show people that I got red. That wow. like, wow. People just do it and then they, they return shit the next day. Don't cap. Don't cap. No, hey. No, be my thing though. I, even because me, I've gone to Selfridges before and I've yeah. it didn't fit and I'm just like, oh, I had to return. Back of people I see returning stuff, I'm like, yeah, you look capitalist, man. But anyway, what can I say? What can you say? What can Such we say, man? Some people are just gonna be dying for the drip, man. Oh, I'm not gonna die for the drip. What can we do? I can wear primer, I can still look cold. God damn. Yeah. Tell them. Yeah. Tell them. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sauce. Right. You get me? We go move to the next. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, shit.